Hi there, welcome to VM Consulting Pro. Do you know that 10 years ago, Microsoft announced the very first time Microsoft Power BI pricing. In October 2015, Microsoft launched this tool, that is Microsoft Power BI, which is a cloud-based BI or self-service analytics tool. And since then, there has been no change in Microsoft Power BI pricing. However, recently Microsoft has announced that they are going to change Microsoft Power BI pricing. That means you have to pay some extra bucks out of your pocket. If you are planning to adopt this inside your organization, or maybe you are trying to learn or you are trying to make your career using Microsoft Power BI, then this video is for you. So guys, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Alright guys, the very first, we are going to have a look that what has been done so far in Microsoft Power BI. But before we jump into that one, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the thumbs up if you really like this video. If you would join our channel, that would support us a lot so that we can create more free contents for you as well as we can provide you some extra guidance, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, etc. And in fact, we can provide you trainings and consulting as well. So please do check our channel for more details. Now let's jump in over here. The very first we are going to talk about that what has been released so far in Microsoft Power BI. The very first, as I mentioned, in 2015, Microsoft has launched this project, which is a cloud-based BI solution where you can analyze your data, you can do ETL work, you can also do your data visualization part over there. In today's market, Microsoft Power BI is a leader. And not just now, for last many years, Gartner Quadrant shows that Microsoft Power BI is the world's leader. So if you're thinking to make your career using Microsoft Power BI, then definitely that's going to be the right decision because it's going to capture most of the market. And now since the launch of Microsoft Fabric, you already know what's changing around you. But we are not going to talk about that. Let's focus then what happened in 2016. In 2016, Microsoft launched Microsoft Power BI for mobile app. That means for your tablet and for your mobile devices you have a dedicated app and also you can customize your reports and dashboard according to that so that you can make them fit and you can make the decision on the go. In 2017, Microsoft launched Microsoft Power BI Premium, which is a dedicated capacity-based Power BI license. And not only that, when we went into 2018, then Microsoft launched the data flows, which are going to enable self-service data preparation on big data. Now, we talked about 2019. As we proceed or we move further, we know that we used to use SSRS reports. So Microsoft says, okay, if you really want to use those kinds of reports as well with the RDL or report definition language based reports, then you can also use those as a paginated reports in Microsoft Power BI. Then in 2020, they launched the smart narratives. That means it's kind of an AI based solution that it can summarize your whole report and you don't need to put your efforts into that to summarize whole reports to present to your board of directors or managers or any of the stakeholders. In 2021, they also launched premium per user license. There was a huge demand when people were asking about that, hey, I have a requirement of using advanced data analytics, but I don't want to pay for the premium because premium was quite expensive. So what to do in this case? Well, for that, Microsoft says, all right, all right, we we'll listen you guys, and we are gonna find a solution for you. So they brought premium per user. There were only just one or two features was missing, such as geolocation, or maybe there was one more. But rest of the features that were present in Power BI Premium were present in PPU, which is still the case, all right? So with that one, you can use those advanced features and you really don't need to pay more for that. However, guys, since I have explained you the different features over here, I have created a dedicated videos on Power BI licenses and also some of the changes that is coming on. Not only that, I have already created a dedicated video on Power BI pricing on Microsoft Fabric pricing structure, which is going to release subsequently after this video. So please stay tuned. So by that means that what's going to be the change in PPU, we are going to explain in this video in terms of pricing. Rest for the features and any other related details, you can watch subsequent videos after this video. So in 2020, Power BI integration with PowerPoint transforming collaborative experience were also launched. And at last 2023, launch of Microsoft Fabric, which was launched in, again in October. So just look at the timeline. In October 2015, they launched Power BI. And in October 2023, they launched Microsoft Fabric. 
And with the launch of Microsoft Fabric, Power BI became one of the experience in Microsoft Fabric because Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end data analytics tool that is going to solve or cater your all the data analytics need inside your organization, whether you are a small organization, medium or a large scale organization, whether you want to do AI related work, real time intelligence, maybe you want to create certain alerts, you want to do data warehousing, data engineering or anything else, Microsoft Fabric is a solution for you. And in that Power BI is one of the experience. If you would like to know more about Microsoft Fabric, then please watch our dedicated tutorials on how you can get started with Microsoft Fabric. We have already created all the videos just for you. Now, I'm going to come back on the part that what's going to be changed over here. So let me take you through one blog that Microsoft has recently published that is on 12th of November, which is going to give you great insights that what's going to be changed and what's not going to be changed and for whom. So if I'm coming over here, you will see that on 12th of November, date is mentioned over here that Microsoft has announced that there is a change in Microsoft Power BI pricing. Starting 1st of April 2025, Microsoft Power BI Pro license will cost you 14 USD per user per month. However, Power BI Premium would cost you 24 USD per user per month. So that's the significant change that Microsoft has announced. This change is really important for you because now you are going to pay 4 bucks extra as you used to pay. But guys, personally, I'll say that it's not really a very high jump in terms of pricing. It's just 4 bucks or 4 USD difference. And given the fact that Microsoft is releasing every month a lot of new features, and this time also in November they have launched a lot of new preview features, which are going to completely change the way we used to work with the introduction of Copilot in many of the services. So tell me, what do you think? Is that price is justifiable or not? In my opinion, yes, it is because they have to also run a business and there was no change in pricing for the last 10 years. So please do let me know what's your feedback on that. So this was the part which is going to change for the new customers who are going to start utilizing Microsoft Power BI starting April 2025. However, you have to also come down over here and you have to look at this. New pricing. So it's for new customer. However, for existing customer or the customers with an enterprise agreement, it's gonna still be valid the old prices over there, which they have already agreed with Microsoft. For example, one of my clients, they have already agreement till 2027, which is enterprise agreement with Microsoft. So they don't need to pay a lot of more money. Only once that contract is gonna get ended, then only the new pricing will be applicable. Similarly, if you have bundled it with Microsoft Office 365 Suite or 365 Suite annual subscription, for them also it's not going to change. So once your license is going to get ended or your agreement is going to end it, only then the new prices are going to get started. For those guys who don't know this fact, that Microsoft Power BI also can be bundled with Office 365 where you can get Microsoft Power BI Pro licenses within Office 365. If you want to get on the top of that PPU, then you need to pay extra bucks over there that's it so guys please give a read on this article you can find this article link in the description don't forget to read it and also to share your feedback with us i hope this video is going to really help you out in case we are missing anything or you would like to provide any feedback please comment in the comment section and also don't forget to watch our subsequent videos i have created three more videos specifically on this and before that also i have created two to three videos where i have explained each and every licenses which is present for Microsoft Power BI in detail. So do check that out and in the coming videos you will get to know more about the pricing for Microsoft Fabric and any other licenses. One last tip before you go, Microsoft Power BI Premium is not going to be available any longer except those organizations who already has their enterprise agreement. Starting July, this has already been ended. That means no more PSQs for the new customer. For the new customer, only fabric capacities are available, which are FSQs. I hope this video is going to be very helpful for you. Don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues and also subscribe now or join our channel to support us. Till then, take care and please do let us know if you need any more training programs or consulting work. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring the world of data and I'm going to see you in the next video.